Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And just last night, somebody posted on Facebook how to find the circumference of a circle. And a couple of people have already answered him and told him. And then young one young man, he made a video showing this. And I did ask for his permission to copycat his video to put it on my channel. And he told me yes. So I've got a 10-inch circle. To find out the circumference of that, you can do it with a calculator 10 times 3.14159, which is pi. But let Corel do it, because you might not have a circle all the time. I'm going to convert it to a curve, and you've got to convert it to a curve first. Then go up to Windows, Dockers, Object Properties, and this window will come up, and then right there it says Curve Properties. And it tells you it's 3 point, or 31.4216. It's a little bit off from 100% pi, and I haven't quite figured that out yet. But here's the real reason I would use this, and you could still figure it out, but when you're drawing, and I'm fixing to use this quite a bit on something I'm drawing, I'm going to hold down the control button so I get a parallel line. I'm going to hit P on the keyboard. Then I'm going to draw one this way and hit P on the keyboard. I'm going to take my virtual segment delete key, and I'm going to delete all these lines we do not need. And you'll see what I'm doing in just a second. I want to know what the quarter of that is. Now it's very easily inside a Corel or calculator, you can just divide it by four, which is 7.85. So that's on a perfect curve. And the reason I'm going to find this exciting, if you're building something with like a track and you could take this and get your marble or it's going to be a marble machine and I'm building a track. Now weld this together and now you have a curve so you need a piece of board if you're going to bend it to 17.855. And what is so neat about this, it would be real difficult to find out what this is because it's two circles. Well, it's 30.63. Or how about this? How long would it? I don't know that you could figure this out with a calculator. Or at least I couldn't. Let's grab, grab that elongated eclipse. And it's 26. 6872. So if you actually had to cut a piece of wood to bend it around that piece of wood, you need about 26 and three quarters inches probably. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit and thank you for watching.